Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends I will share this uh, free simulator that you can find on the internet. Thank you to Simeon that he showed this kind of program. Thank you very much. But guys I really really like to ask from you to use this simulator as much as possible uh, properly because uh, if we overload the system, maybe the server will go down and we have trouble to use it all uh, of the guys that is over here. So this is how it looks like, uh, the main page, and this is the URL that you can attend and you will add. And also I will describe it. Uh, down below on the comments on the description you can see the link so you will press and you will go direct there first of all what you need to do is to press this button which shows uh, the English language you can register here it's better to make a register and here you can see all the things that is in here on the training it's also VR, also network training, also 3D engine room simulators that uh, by pressing here you can see uh, the full description of what is uh, inside and you can see that there is 3D views of the engine room and all the panels here, all the machinery it's really really beautiful uh, to see that but before you attend of this nice a simulator and also here there is some disassembling procedure that you can also install uh, I will inform you that for the moment I have not any access on this kind of uh, a simulator because I don't know I get some kind of error if somebody can help also to fix this kind of problem it will be really really nice so I have installed also Internet Explorer 11 and also I have installed the Unity web plugin which is also very important. As you can see there is a lot of material here for disassembling. There is also videos, a lot of video materials here and most of them is on Chinese language. If some of you using Chinese language it will be really really nice. And really it's very nice to see such simulators and this kind of simulator was uh, made from Dalian high technology uh, in China and first of all it's really, really important to make such simulators because by simulating and by creating some problems you will be more better to adjust and you will direct go to the problem and uh, as I have seen uh, this is uh, this training and most of the engineers have lack of this kind of training this this kind of training must not only make only before going on board this kind of training must be done in uh, short intervals so this information will be not forget another thing that after the register you will download the network training and after downloading the network training you will get some kind of this kind of program I will show you uh, shortly so let's close this uh, window and you will get some kind of uh, this uh, shortcut this kind of shortcut by entering this shortcut you will press yes and after start uh, the initialization so here I will press my code my password that I have created previously on the site that I have tell you in that section by logging you are entering here on this area so after uh, you log in here you can see that there is rooms and this is the simulators here so there is a solo program here and team so we can uh, enter the program by a team and each other will have some roles and here on the top here on the top 
uh, there is a download button, a arrow that shows down this arrow. Uh, one moment, if I can move it. Okay, if you can see here, uh, there will be one letter, one monitor and one arrow pointing down. By pressing this arrow, this is on the third uh, sign, here you will see this kind of simulators. So by pressing of each simulator, let's say for disassembling, assembling, I, I still have not entered here to see what is supposed to do. Uh, you making the downloading procedure here, but as you can see, it sh don't shows any megabytes. This kind of assembling and disassembling, it's 3D, and also it contains man BMW engine, electronic engine, and Yanmar diesel generator. <coughs> so by pressing here, you start to download. When it complete to 100%, that means uh, the program and the simulator is downloaded so you will get this kind of sign so this green signs here means that I have downloaded the program and I will try to enter so after downloading here okay and you can make this window uh, move here so I will try to enter this simulator for maintenance simulator because I have uh, download it but why now it appears that is not downloaded okay I will try to see if I can enter <coughs> so I am I'm inside I have downloaded that one but ah oh no it says that you have not downloaded but really really my dear friends I have downloaded before this kind of program uh, have one moment Okay, I will go back again out of the room. I will check which simulator I have. Okay, let's see the Yanmar simulator. Really with 3D simulators, I had some kind of problems. So I will check also rooms here. Okay, there's three rooms. And also, if Simos can help, if he's watching these videos, uh, it will be really, really nice to, to have some help here of this kind of simulators. So, <coughs> one moment. So let's see what simulators I have here. But really when I enter here, it was downloaded. So I will press again to see. But these kind of simulators really it's one giga, 1.5 gigabytes, but I see that it takes a really, really long time to download it. It seems to be small, but it's really, really big uh, file. So really I have downloaded and I don't know why it makes so long. <clears throat> and also the Yanmar here, the maintenance simulator, I cannot see it. So I will try to press here this arrow to select it and import. Import, no, export, but where to export? Okay, I will try to export, let's say on the desktop let's say one save and I will try to import then to see if something uh, changes okay I will wait for the response because I press it twice or three times but really the other simulators which is a uh, 50 megabytes or 60 megabytes it's not 3d they are working really really fine and you have seen that we have tested the emergency deal generator <coughs> so okay i will close the program seems to be not 
uh, operated and let's try again to re reopen back again so we will see if something and next time i will press this to be remember me and to log in automatically so let's see where i'm now and i will try to see again my downloads to see that everything is downloaded no here it's again it's not downloaded i will try okay i will try to show you uh, one of the simulator that i have downloaded and i will enter vlcc a simulator for mooc so here i will uh, find it it's here so i enter inside the room it shows adventure story academy so also here probably this is uh, <coughs> some task here and shows disassembly of main engine exhaust disassembly assembly simulator uh, there is some tasks here and here what is this let's see what task is this emergency start operation for vlcc here what we can see what information we have a bilge water system discharge bilge water system from bilge tank so there's a kind of simulators that uh, provide us also some information and let's enter to see if i can access here to see uh, if i can see some 3d but as you can see here there is only 2d uh, the game crash crash report fold name okay let's see next to execute grades and if you send it okay so <coughs> my mouse it's really really crazy so the program okay it's loaded but i cannot see uh, where is the 3d so we can make uh, the dismantle or mounting because i have uh, installed i have installed parallel desktop in the imac so if you have uh, imac you cannot run run this program you must have windows at least and okay i will go back here so one moment system settings ah okay 3d go to 3d okay finally i found it and i like to see if there is okay i press it go to 3d <coughs> but nothing uh, really happens so here you control the simulator if you like to start or not and one moment what is this snapshot scenario open okay if we open here okay there is some uh, scenarios here a uh, cold ship okay let's load this kind of scenario let's say <coughs> loading condition file is not compatible for this version so this kind of program have also some kind of compatibilities and it's really really difficult uh, sometime to be adjusted kongsberg was more easy <coughs> platform for sure it will be more expensive but as i have seen that kongsberg that i have made in that videos was really really old 
and there is a lot of programs that have already improved uh, it would be nice if we get some kind of program like that and we make training here but i don't believe that they will supply us uh, these kind of programs it will be really, really uh, expensive for them to supply such programs so let's see system preferences uh, by the time okay my dear friends you can check also by yourself and check all these uh, manuals <coughs> So also there's some kind of evaluation items, spare. And it will be really, really fun for you to check uh, all the system. You can make zoom and zoom out. You <laughs> already understand that. <coughs> so what I will do, I will uh, finish with this simulator. I will stop it and i will try as much as possible to download the 3d simulation so once again what i will do i will attend to this site here which i have entered before www okay i can share search it from here Control H, last week history, and virtual simulator. Waiting for response. <coughs> so, okay, as you can see here, uh, I will press English language. But I don't know really, my dear friends, this program gets a lot of crashes uh, through the time. And this is the Unity that I have crashed. So try to see also maybe in your computer it's working much, much better. But really, really, I get some of these kind of problems. Okay, let's see. 3D engine simulating, what we can uh, attend here. So this is also a download center. There is network training client, engine simulator operation manual, network training plugin components. Let's check it. Maybe this is some kind for downloading also. Yes, that is and also will virtual disassembling plugin components maybe this is uh, also very very important things to download so i will try them and i will explain as much as possible uh, after the loading what i have found and if something is working just try to download the program check also and uh, you can write here in the description how to improve the, the simulator how to make a better installation uh, than i have did and probably we will see a lot of things here it will be really really interesting to interact here so now the video will be come to the end and thank you that you have stayed tuned and i will explain everything in the next videos from adventure story bye bye and don't forget to subscribe and to share the knowledge because by sharing the knowledge we became better thank you again and see you in the next video bye bye